Dance, rhythm, you know, beats, making that music with your body, being able to really execute that and express that to others. So when you see dancing and stepping and chants, we are speaking about our experiences as, the, as an organization, as well as being able to relay our Latina culture. Stepping a strolling is a chance for you to represent your organization. It gives us a different way to express ourselves. It's not just another rally. It's not just another protest or some, some type of forefront of a movement. We're out here performing. It has a deeper meaning. For multicultural Greeks on college campuses, step and stroll is all about expression. Every movement has a purpose. We add our own elements into where our colors are um, our signs, everything like that, because we want it to be about the organization itself. It's not just about dancing. You're with a group of hermanas that are able to step and stroll in front of a community and know that I'm putting my letters of Pi, Lambda Chi, and I'm representing my organization. And at the end of the day, I leave my heart and soul for that. Stepping and strolling are just one of the many activities that, that multicultural fraternities and sororities offer to its members. I chose Pai Lambda Chi because I was a first year and first generation um, student at DU and for me I felt like I needed a home away from home on a place that often doesn't feel like home because DU is a predominantly Caucasian university. For me I really just wanted that support network and just that group of people that can help me through college especially being a first year student, first generation student. I think a lot of these Latino organizations, fraternities, and sororities, they all share similar principles and similar values. And we all aim to do some of the same things, we just do it in different ways. Although there are dozens of multicultural organizations throughout the country, there are no official enrollment numbers because many are private. But students say a big part of their growing appeal is that multicultural fraternities and sororities are fairly different from predominantly white and traditional organizations. Panhellenic comes from a very traditional sense where they recruit by numbers, they get to choose their members, um, they have to pay extensive amounts of money to live within you know, houses or their dues and things like that. With multicultural organizations, it's uh, quality over quantity. In 2015, 37% of Latinos ages 18 to 24 were enrolled in a two or four year institution. Although their college enrollment numbers have increased, many Latino students still feel a bit like strangers on their college campuses. When they walk into campus, they're coming from, uh, many of them are coming from segregated communities, right? Growing up amongst other Latinos. Actually, about a third of Latino students in K through 12 are going to all minority schools. So when they enroll in college, they may experience things like culture shock, uh, feelings of not belonging, uh, marginalization, racial microaggressions, and sometimes even blatant racism. And because of that, they seek co-ethnics. So one of the options um, that are Latino student organizations, some of them are sororities, there are professional clubs, there are political groups. And students come to those groups in general um, seeking uh, a place to have fellowship with people like them. And in my research, I find that the Latino student organizations are really doing the work that their institution is failing to do. Verduzco Reyes says that Latino organizations increase retention and graduation rates. She says they really do serve the critical role of connecting and integrating Latino students to the campus community at large. They also provide access to strong alumni networks and professional development connections and resources often not available to first-generation students. So when a Latino student arrives on campus, this is an achievement, right? It's an achievement not of just that student, but of their family, and at many times their community, right? So when they come to whatever campus they, they choose to enroll in, they are looking for a place to celebrate and share in that achievement. So a Latino sorority, a Latino student organization is a space to share in the hardships, but also share in their successes. One of the most rewarding aspects of Latino Greek life is being able to go back to their own neighborhoods and give back as a group. In other words, strength in numbers. 
We are a support network of group of women going through college. First and foremost, that's why we're there. We're also a very big part of, in giving back to our communities, which means community service. Go to communities and help them out, whether that's to tutor them, whether that's going to Salvation Armies and helping those communities out, whether that's an individual sister knowing different parts that they know that they need help with, with FAFSA night, um, where parents kind of need that bilingual help as well. So it's more than just going to a party. It's a really community of giving back to where we came from, where our roots are. For many Latino students, these fraternities and sororities give them more of an understanding into their Latino identities. Every time they are seen in their letters, they are representing a community, a network, a sisterhood, a brotherhood. Ultimately, these organizations unify students of color, whether they are stepping, strolling, or sitting in a classroom. So at the end of the day, I feel like it is helping and it's helping to promote our organization to any woman that's interested. It unifies us, whether you're in my organization or not. Your brothers, your sisters, having a chance to perform together in that one moment, those two, three minutes, seven, eight minutes, just shows the camaraderie that you guys all have. I just, I love my organization and what it stands for. Hey NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.